can ChatGPT generate responsive websites? Let's find out together. So for those of you who are not familiar with the term, a responsive website is a website that renders correctly, it doesn't matter the device where it's being displayed. So it will render correctly in a computer, in a cell phone, in a tablet, and even in a smartwatch. So here I have ChatGPT in version 4, I'm going to uh, uh, prompt it for create a HTML page that, that has a login form and ask it to be responsive. So write a HTML page that has a login form. Make sure it is responsive. Let's see how it does. So it's giving me a lot of theory and now it's finally giving me some code. I can see it understood that I need to use styles to have a responsive website, so it's creating a new style for me. Ideally, this would be broken into another file, probably called styles CSS, but it's okay to have it into this kind of example. And it will finally write the login form for me. I can see it's trying to hit a action page.php that I don't have, so it's probably retrieving it from somewhere, but it's okay for now. And there you go, our full HTML code, including the styles, it's here. So let's go to Visual Studio, paste that in, and see how it renders. So I'll just paste that in, into my index.html file, save it, and here I'm going to refresh and it should render correctly for a computer. So refresh and there you go, you'll have our, a login form rendering correctly for a computer. Let's try to change the device and see if it renders correctly for all the devices. So here in Google Chrome you have this button in the console, so I can click that and here I can choose different devices to see how the website renders. So in an iPhone SE it will render like this, which seems correct. Also, let's try into a iPad Air, also seems correct. In a Surface Pro 7, works quite the same. And in a Samsung Galaxy, it's quite acceptable. So I would ask ChatGPT to change a few details. I don't like how this side of the login form renders is way too close to the border, but as you can see, as you refine your prompt, it will write it correctly for you. So if you found this video helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel so it can help us grow. I also share this link with a friend and they can learn something too. If you already subscribed, thank you for that. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or an implementation you'd like to see, please leave on the comment section down below. We always answer all the questions. I hope this content was useful to you and hope to see you back. See you soon. Bye bye.